optical HDMI cables. This is a Wildhand CS 10 meter 8K 48 gig HDMI 2.1. They're available up to 20 meters. I'm not being paid to review it either. It's one I've got for myself. The reasons I use optical HDMI cables are longer runs, stability and reliability, performance when I'm doing a first fix on a new house build, or if I'm doing a cinema room install from an AV rack to a projector, I find conventional HDMI cables aren't reliable over seven and a half meters. So I generally turn to HDMI optical cables for longer runs. I also prefer these thinner cables as opposed to the ones with braiding around them as they're easier to manage. Like behind my G2 OLED where the cables have to be rooted tight and flat to the TV for it to be able to be pushed back tight to the wall. The cable is directional, so the black end is the source end whether it's PS5, Xbox, AV receiver or PVR etc. The white end is the TV or projector, so the display end. Next I'm going to test it on my PS5 to my TV and check it does all resolutions and from my TV to my AV receiver and check it does EARC. Check out the link in the description if you want to go and have a look at the cables for yourself. If I go to the video output information, it gives me the current resolution which is at 4K at 60Hz, it will do 120Hz on certain games, RGB HDR, HDCP 2.3 Gives me the VRR there up to 120 hertz as well, HDR supported, frequencies on HDR are all there, 4K up to 120 and non-HDR 4K up to 120 as well. The game pal is nice and smooth just as I expect. I need to get tighter here. Just like a normal HDMI well, cable, cable basically, but obviously if we were over a longer run, run we'd want this sort of performance. Okay, bit of nature stream from my PS5 to the TV. Okay, might try out the LG demo as well from my PS5. Well, as it should be. Now I've got the HDMI lead connected to the EARC port on my TV and the other end to my AV receiver so it's feeding the audio back, all the functions still work and the sound is there. I also tried it on Netflix just to make sure I get Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital and so on which is great. Can't show that bit because of copyright though. So all in all decent decent quality HDMI lead does it what it says on the tin basically. Uh, which you would expect. No massive difference to a standard high quality HDMI lead apart from you've got that option of distance. So 10 meter, 20 meter with reliability, stability and performance. And that is it for now.